Hello, I'm Sam Hawkiff from Manipur, co-founder of Som in Education and Agritech Private Limited. I am married with two children, and my wife and my family are in Delhi, whereas I am in Manipur. When I met Mang, who was trying to transition from Ifikol to a tribe, and he, he said, Brother Sam, check out the website and see what you can do. And uh, immediately I go to tribe website and saw it. I see the model, get enrolled for online training and get certified uh, for the online training. And we both met and discussed how we can partner to work, to start the work, Thrive Living Gardens in Manipur. And so the first Thrive training we conducted for five days training in uh, Songlung, my center, where we have invited school owners, church leaders, pastors, and farmers themselves. We had started organizing training uh, frequently. We also conducted, uh, you know, the first trainees who have come to my center in July 2022 had also uh, started their own work. For example, we am Nazareth English school owner Pu Mangza had, you know, a demonstration unit in his own school hostel students, and he was doing very well. Until today, he is growing vegetables, cabbage, tomatoes, other green beans in his garden. And others were taking off. For example, in my center, I started growing different varieties, experimenting which one is good for the soil, the local uh, acclimatization, how we can uh, multiply. I was thinking of started inviting people to come and stay and learn and even train them there practically in my garden. Then, unfortunately, the conflict happened in May 3rd, and so everything uh, what we had done come to a standstill uh, till today. We made a video, a promotional video, and sent it out to school owners, churches, and other farmers. So people were started showing interest and inviting us. That is the time this conflict happened, and till today we could not take any other training programs. However, the experience so far has been very, very encouraging, particularly in my garden. Artemisia plant has grown up very well, and during this conflict, when people were getting sick, like having fevers, malaria. I offer them every morning, every afternoon. I told them you can go and pluck the leaves, make it as a green tea and drink it. I think Menzel School owner Pu Otsai had done, Wu Lin come and Hen Hao had taken Artemisia from my garden and started drinking regularly. And so they have also said that, you know, they recover without taking medicine. They recover from their fever. I think uh, looking into the future, especially in the context of displaced persons in Manipur, in my area or in the hill areas. This Thrive Garden can be one of the best alternatives for rebuilding their livelihoods for the displaced persons. They can do it in a small land, wherever they are. They can do it in their uh, home seat again. And we can also take it further with institutions like schools, colleges and churches in areas where we are concentrating at the moment. My experience has been very, very encouraging so far. I think we need to promote this tribe garden as an alternative livelihood rebuilding program for internally displaced persons in the future. Thank you.